phone to its original position and described what he saw in his crystal ball app. I see a man who has black grain hair and is smiling at a young girl. She is laughing and he has just told her a joke. He is wearing a black and white striped collared shirt under a red and black plaid coat and his overalls are dirty and mud caked. That's my Uncle Gordon. He just told me the funny joke about a newspaper and he's covered in mud because we are stuck in the mud after church and he got us out. Oh no, he's sitting on the ground, worried. A woman is holding him and she is worried because he is grabbing at his heart. I need to go back. He might be having a heart attack. Come on, Otto. Goodbye, Professor Awesome, and thank you. <clears throat> As they headed home, the wind was picking up speed, and she could barely see where she was going as the wind hit her face. Up ahead, she saw a tornado coming, and when she reached home, Georgia and Otto saw no one out front. They tried to get in the storm shelter, but the doors were closed. Using her cell phone, she tried to call her aunt, but she remembered there was no service in the storm shelter. It was hard to hear even if her aunt had been speaking. So with nothing else to try, they went into the house, but there was nowhere safe to sit. She crawled under the bed and covered her head. Just then she was knocked unconscious when the bed was tipped over from the strong winds that had blown her window open. The next thing she knew, she and Otto were up in the tornado. Then she heard a kerplunk when she felt safe, she went to the door and realized they were in a strange place. <clears throat> it wasn't like the movie where it was brightly colored and vibrant. This place was full of shadowy areas. Just then a bubble appeared and a woman wearing a purple dress appeared. Are you a friend or foe? Excuse me? I said, are you a friend or a foe of who? The munchies. Munchies? They told me a witch has just dropped a house on the Wicked Witch of the South. And there's the house, and here you are. So what they want to know is are you a friend or a foe? I'm not a foe. I'm George Dale from Arkansas. Is that the foe? Who, Otto? No, Otto's my cat. Georgia was still confused. Pardon me, but what's a munchie? Oh, they're the odd little creatures that live in this land. This is munchie land. They eat their foes, except witches. They can't seem to stand the funny taste. Come out, little munchies, and meet Georgia Dale from Arkansas. <clears throat> Just then, little round creatures with tiny little spikes on them came out in all sorts of colors. As they were meeting her, their spikes retracted and they gathered around her. Don't eat her. She's a friend. Otto hissed at them and they backed up. This is Otto, my cat. He's a friend too, but he's never met a munchie. You must be the good witch Glinda. Although, you don't look much like her, Glinda. You're right, I'm not Glinda. I'm Franzella, the good witch of the red brick road. Just then, black and white smoke rose, and a witch with black and white stockings and red slippers came over to Georgia. Who killed my sister? Was it you? No, it... It was my house. This is the Wicked Witch of the East, Franzella whispered. I thought Dorothy killed her. Who's that? I'm going to kill you right now. Don't look at the munchies. They won't protect you. Aren't you forgetting something, Franzella pointed out. The sapphire slippers. She went over to them, but they were gone. Where are they? 
right where they ought to be, Franzella said, pointing to Georgia. Give me those shoes. Why do you need them? You're wearing shoes, ruby slippers. <clears throat> How do you know? The wicked witch asked. Well, I'm a witch from another place. Then you know why I must have your shoes then. <clears throat> um, yes, and why I won't be giving them to you. Be gone, before a house gets dropped on you, too. Franzella waved her wand at the witch, who glared at Georgia. I'll get you, my fellow witch, and your little flea biter, too. She then vanished into thin air. The sooner you leave Bungieland, the safer you'll be. All you have to do to get to the Amethyst City is follow the red brick road. Follow the red brick road? Georgia looked down at her feet. Well, actually, all I have to do is click my heels three times and say there's no place like home, right? I wouldn't. But that's how Dorothy got home. My dear, Dorothy must have had the ruby slippers on then. But how she got them from the witch, I don't know. But if you click your heels three times in those slippers, you will suffer from a case of overlaugh, which will soon cut off your oxygen. Oh my, well, what happens if I click them 